now remains at 18 but as a semi-finalist as a bronze medalist she is through to the olympic games later this summer where she'll attempt to defend and retain that world title but not going in as a world champion a position she has held since the 2006 world championship which took place in delhi those 10 years ago but this is the woman who beat her Estelle Marcelli, very skillful operator in her own right. Her fourth appearance against Katie Taylor yesterday. And for the first time, she managed to get it right. So she'll be full of confidence. Having finally found a way to solve the puzzle that Katie Taylor provides. 0-3 against Katie Taylor ahead of yesterday's semi-final. But she got it right to find herself in this championship gold medal bout where she's facing off against the tournament number two seed ranked number one in the world at 64 kilograms and anastasia beliakova a reigning world champion but coming that was at 64 kilograms so she's come down to 60 kilograms she's through to the olympic games for the first time She'll compete as an Olympian in Rio later this summer. But looking to claim her second successive world title, albeit in a different weight class to the one where she occupied top spot on the medal podium two years ago. I think, I think it's going to be a good final, this. Marcelli's a very skillful girl, but <clears throat> Beliakova herself, normally at 64 tasks, but she's come down and she's boxing well at 60. She is, yeah. Um, I've boxed both of these before, and they both like to box that range. Um, so it'll be interesting to see like, how how Estelle's going to close down um, the distance, because obviously uh, Bella has got Bella has got a bit a, a bit of a, a reach advantage. But if you're Estelle Marcelli, you're on a high from um, of winning the the, the the bout yesterday. So the opening bell sounds in the women's 60 kilogram lightweight final between boxers from Russia and France. The boxer wearing red is Estelle Mostelli, ranked number three in the world, the tournament number four seed. Her opponent, the boxer wearing blue, is the Russian representative, the tournament number two seed, Anastasia Beliakova, ranked number one in the world at 64 kilograms. She's the reigning world champion in that particular weight category. But in order to make the Olympics, she has dropped down to the 60 kilogram weight class. And this promises to be a really intriguing encounter between two boxers who possess immense experience and skill as well. One thing we spoke about yesterday about Beliaka, that uh, she's got a very low right hand and, and she fought Potkin and didn't she, the, the Finnish girl. And we wanted to see her left up when Potkin got on the inside, which she didn't throw. That's one of her faults, Beliaka is that that right hand is very, very low. And if you can just get on the inside, get in that inside position and then throw that left up, you'll definitely catch uh, the girl in blue. And Marcelli, give her credit, she, she's, she's been aggressive, but she's got to find a bit of room, Tash, hasn't she, to find that shot on the inside. Yeah, you can see her uh, um, repeatedly going towards the target. Yeah, and, and, but... Uh, Beliakova just keeps flicking that jab out. Whether it lands or not, she's keeping her at bay and she's giving us something to think about. So Mussolini's got to find a way to get to get around it and get, and, and get that shot off, as, as you're saying, because you can see from that picture how low both their hands are. Mussolini just falling short and then was countered immediately with a good left right from Beliakova. She's going to have to find a way to overcome the height and reach disadvantage she faces Marcelli and to have to use those quick feet as she possesses it's a really close round to score about it's all about what the judges want and what they want to see a bit scrappy wasn't it to be quite honest Yakova did have a bit of success but Marcelli very aggressive coming forward when she's on the inside not a lot of real work that's landing, I don't think. It was a bit scrappy, but you never know. They may award Marcelli the round because of the aggression. Or do they like Beliakova flicking that jab out and trying to keep her at bay? 
Let's just have a look at the action here. See Maselli coming forward, taking a shot there, but Beliaka was in a bad position on the ropes, but she gets away with it slightly. Look, chin up in the air, but uh, Maselli couldn't quite find the quality shot. Well, Maselli has taken the opening round for all three judges. 10-9 across the board. That aggression being rewarded. So we move into the second round, 60 kilogram lightweight gold medal bout. Both of these boxers will be competing in Rio later this summer, having made it through to the final four in the box who just landed a cracking left hand. Estelle Marcelli took the opening round across the board. Beliakova, the reigning world champion at 64 kilograms, a more languid boxer, hands very low. When you a close opening round, but she conceded it for all three judges. When you watch Beliakova, she sometimes shuffles with her feet and, and, and stutters. If you can go and go again, if she can get close down the space, put your hands up, go and go again, then she'll shut the space down and, and, and she'll be able to catch her. Double up the attack, you mean, for, for Marcelli? Yeah, double up the attack. Yeah, it's a great point. I think Beliakova has got to um, hit and move, and she's got to move her feet quicker, hasn't she? Out of the way. That because she holds her feet probably a little bit too long occasionally, and that would allow Marcelli then to close the gap down. Still, Marcelli comes into this as a reigning bronze medalist from the World Championships in Jeju two years ago, lost at the semi-final stage. European Games silver medalist, 2014 European silver medalist, and EU silver medalist back in 2013, lost all of those gold medal bouts to Katie Taylor before Getting a first result against the formidable Irish boxer in yesterday's semi-final. She One of two with... Sorry, Irish boxers will go through in the women's division, in the women's weight classes, to the Olympic Games later this summer. She's boxing with a lot of confidence here, Marcelli is. And that's probably because, like you said, Tash, that win over Taylor, it's a fantastic win. But she's aggressive on that front foot. She looks very, very confident indeed, this French girl. Right hand from Beliakova wasn't too far away. And again, Beliakova just being beaten to the punch on occasion by the more explosive shots of Marcelli. I think it's a hard one to score, isn't it? It it's is, a close it is. round. Beliakova, she's, she's flicking the jab out, flicking the jab out, and occasionally throwing them the, the backhand after it but not much is coming um marcelli's being aggressive you know she's she's trying to close the space down she's throwing the shot so it, it, it is about about what you want to see it was a lovely right hand there from Beliakira as marcelli's coming forward if you have judges that prefer boxers on that front foot showing the aggression looking to force the contest let's have a look Yeah, again, look, every judge has gone for Marcelli, so they prefer that front foot aggression. Can Beliakova make the adjustment? So into the second half of this 60 kilogram lightweight gold medal bout, the boxer wearing red, the world championship bronze medalist from two years ago is Estelle Marcelli. She has taken the opening two rounds across the board. Anastasia Beliakova. She comes in as a reigning world champion, but up at 64 kilograms. Going to have to do something dramatically different here. I say dramatically, the rounds have been close, but the judges have scored unanimously the opening two rounds for the French boxer. And that perhaps is why Beliakova is attempting to get onto the front foot and drive Mostelli backwards. So Beliakova's coming forward now, which does Mostelli's job, and she's coming right onto her shot. Um, she's coming forward. She's she, now Marcelli doesn't need to close down the space. She just needs to wait and, and, and throw a shot. And the problem that Beliakov has probably got here, although she's changing tempo and she's going forward, she's going forward with very, very low hands. So she's risking walking onto a big shot here, Beliakova. I can understand why she's doing it because they feel in the corner that she's getting beat. She's got to do something different. So she's changed tactics here. But oh, it's like going into the rain with no umbrella. You're going to get wet. You've got to keep your hands up. Fifth bout of the tournament for both of these boxers, having There's that both little received shuffle I was talking about. in the opening preliminary round. 
a good win at the quarterfinal stage over the number five seed, Jana Alexievna, who's already qualified for the Olympic Games. Both boxers have acquitted themselves very well throughout the tournament. This is a keenly fought contest, this one, but perhaps in changing tactics. There's a cracking left hand from Mastelli. Beliakova hasn't had more discernible success by getting onto the front foot, but perhaps she would just alter the perception in the minds of the judges because Marcelli's aggression was rewarded in the opening two rounds, and it's almost as though Beliakova tried to respond in kind. Yeah, she came she came forward, but in doing that she was she was closing the space down for Marcelli, and all she needed to do then was wait to throw her shot and move away, which she was doing. Um, I, I, it was a close round again, but I think Maselli took that round for me. It was close, wasn't it? But uh, changing tactic from Beliakova here. But coming forward, she's coming forward with very, very low hands. But it was close, and you don't know. I mean, I agree with you, Tash, but you never know with the scores, do you? They might award. No, again, you're right. Maselli. They're preferring her work. Most certainly going forwards or going backwards. Marcelli in complete control now. Potentially just two minutes away from having her hands raised as a world champion if she can stay out of harm's way. You've seen at the start of the round, the referee said to her, no more. So I don't know if that's for holding. So we'll have to look out for warnings here. Brilliant start by Marcelli. Landed with a quick left hand and look at the sharpness on her punch picking now. Very bright start by Maselli in this fourth and final round. Remember, she's got a three-point advantage coming into this, having taken the opening three rounds unanimously over Beliakova. Beliakova has come out trying to force the pace, but she's being picked off as she comes in by the accurate punch picking of the French boxer. Beliakova knows that she's behind. The corner will have told her she's desperate now. That's why she's coming forward so much in this round also but again she's not learning from the mistakes her hands are very very low it's good aggression but she's getting caught when she's coming forward and Maselli is just in, she's she looks like she's enjoying it oh. she got caught with a good uppercut there and another good body shot whipping left hand bolo shot to the body right above the belt line two forceful shots fired in by Beli Akava and that perhaps her only route back into this contest is to take Marcelli clean out but Marcelli gets back on the front foot now but she won't be wanting to take too many more of those good right hand over the top once again from Beliakova lead left hook of the Czech variety from Marcelli was a nice shot terrific action here in the fourth and final round both boxers leaving it all in the ring as they laid on the line but remember, it's Marcelli who was in the commanding position coming into this round. But she's not looking to play it safe and cruise her way to world championship gold. She wants to leave an impression in the mind of Beliaka because remember, these boxers could potentially meet in Rio later this summer. Ten second clapper has sounded and these two boxers punching all the way through to the final bell. Marcelli raises her arms immediately because surely the insurance that she built up over the course of the first three rounds will be enough to see her crown as world champion in the 60 kilogram lightweight division. Terrific final. Beliakova played her part in it as well, but given the state of the bout going into the fourth and final round, despite the tempo being raised, I don't think she will have done enough to overturn the deficit that she faces. It was a cracking final round. Both boxers landing and receiving plenty of forceful shots. Once a expects Estelle Maselli is about to be crowned as the world champion. Estelle Maselli, absolutely delighted at having been crowned world champion. And perhaps the start of a new era in world championship boxing because for the first time since the 2006 World Championships, the 60 kilogram lightweight division has a boxer other than Katie Taylor being crowned as the gold medalist. On this occasion, it's the boxer who vanquished the legendary Irish performer, Estelle Marcelli, the tournament number four seed.
has boxed her way through to top spot on the medal podium, having outpointed Anastasia Beliakova with a really aggressive, eye-catching display of effective punch picking. You can't fault the effort from both boxers. The tempo was tremendous, really high work rate. I think the 